Okay, there is a bead roller that's on the internet that, well not a bead roller, it's a fence for a bead roller. So that's one option that's out there that you can do. Fits on most standard bead rollers. The thing I don't like about it is Look how much uh, you lose in terms of the depth of the bead roller. I mean, if you go from the, where the metal hits all the way to the back of where it bolts up, what is that? You're maybe six to eight inches you're losing. Uh, so, kind of got a different design where you don't lose as much of the throat of the bead roller. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here's the bead roller. Uh, uh, you paint them a different color, put a different label on them, and you probably have the same place in China that makes them for five manufacturers. So, this is the fence idea. If you look, I made it with a T-nut. So let me undo this. Ooh. Distance. So this slides. See where the T nut hits? Right back here where the slot is. Well, from the back of the slot to here, it's a little, it's less than, I don't know, maybe an inch and a quarter. So that's all you're really losing is this amount of the adjustability. At least, you know, you can slide it, adjust it however you want. But again, it's just the T-slot. So that's how I made the fence for the bead roller and uh, I'm still waiting for a new set of dies they're offset dies so I can do the profile that's on the floor of the bus they you know with the holiday shipping usually takes a while now so they're on their way who knows when they'll show up. So that's what I've been working on too. I've been, while I was waiting for the offset rollers, I knew I was going to need a fence to be able to adjust from here to this surface. And you'll see that once I get the offset rollers and hopefully have success. Ah, uh, there's the sheet metal down there. Alright, next item.